first of all, uh, we had a surprise visit here by His Excellency. Uh, definitely, it is true that he has this school at heart. He has uh, government children at heart. Uh, that's why when these philanthropists came, uh, MRC Holland Foundation, he told them categorically that I went to Kovakunda School and I want you to definitely uh, create a difference. You have been building schools, classes in some schools all over the country, but Kovakunda, I want you to see specially, and we have seen that. He has uh, the MRC Holland Foundation, which is our main sponsor, have given this school a special treatment. Um, I'm very much happy to be associated uh, with this history making. Uh, a, a school, a professional school like Kovakunda, for one of its past people to become the president of this country is a great thing. Uh, looking at uh, the background of uh, this, uh, our political history and uh, where most politicians hail from, uh, you know, our first president comes from a remote village, as well as the Second Republic. Now, the Third Republic, uh, with Adam Abaro at the helm as the president of this country, we went to this very school in 1976. Uh, in fact, we are sitting just near the classroom that he, he uh, had his classes. The project started on the 19th of uh, February 2018. Uh, from 2018 to now, you can see uh, they have given us 54 classrooms, and that is three story buildings, and then refurbished uh, 15 other classes. So that's a great thing with a, fence, a perimeter fence all over. So from 20, February 29 to date, uh, that's the length of the, the project and still now there are some finishing touches that the MRC Holland founders are yet to do and we are expecting more other um, buildings from them. Uh, Amar Jiko is a contractor for this um, project, Jiko Construction. Uh, he was given this project. Uh, initially the first building uh, was for six months and he did it less than six months and then it was awarded as the second building. That's, that's right on, on, my, on my left hand, this other story building. So you can see from November, uh, uh, from uh, February 2018 to date, all this have been done within that uh, time frame. Currently, uh, we have uh, 2,758 for the lower basic only. And then we have, as I said, an upper basic and senior school also uh, that is also uh, that also started in September, and the enrollment is 370 students. We have uh, 90 students for the for the senior school, two classes, and then uh, the rest uh, six classes for the upper basic school. That's how the enrollment starts as of now. I've been here since 2010. It's actually 10 years now. Uh, when I first took over the school, uh, the school was a thoroughfare. People come in, enter bicycles, motorcycles, vehicles, you know, will pass through the school. Uh, it was not fenced. The buildings were dilapidated. You can see the building that we are sitting next to was built in 1960. It's a 1960 building. Uh, 
close what building agency agency need close our staff quarters they were, uh, were uh, open on in, on the uh, 15th of September 96 you can see inscribed at the foot of the building there so uh, they were all the rooks were leaking in fact they were pouring when it rains students would have to go to one side of the um, classroom uh, to, to allow the teachers to control with the lessons. So that's how we were operating. And uh, I have been since then, I've been writing to my permanent sector through my um, uh, regional director, who is our current minister. She can attest to it, Madam uh, Cole. Every year, in and out, I will write through her, uh, to the permanent sector through her, and, and, and endless promises would be made. But uh, no, no, no positive results. So it was when these people came that uh, things changed. Uh, well, with, with Jiko Construction, Ama Jiko in particular, and he's fantastic. I, I, I like, I like him. I like the way he operates. You know. He has experienced supervisors and he himself will come to the site. If he sees anything that is uh, going on wrong, he will correct it there and then fix, tell them to fix it. Even if it would involve uh, um, putting, pulling that area down. It wastes waste no time. Um, um, uh, his touches are always met. In fact, he sometimes does his um, um, uh, touches uh, uh, before, he, he completes his project before, before the actual uh, deadline. He has yeah, somebody cooking for them, feeding them on the side, and then he pays them as well. So the, the workers too are, are always happy and say good things about him. You see, this particular school, the intervention is just up because from ECD up to grade 12. Uh, you see, initially students, you know, work trek from here to Mansajan for their senior school and of course middle school. With this intervention, that now burden has been relieved from parents. They don't need, not, not even need to buy bicycles for their children to to to, to, to trek to to Mansajan. That alone is a big thing to do. And then, added to when I told him about our, our water problem with now electricity bills for for pumping our borehole. He said, on return to Banya, he will send his uh, people to come and put up a, a solar panel for us. That will relieve us from buying cast power. All, all, every three days, $1,000 is too expensive for the school to maintain. So that also is a big thing. It's a plus for us. And uh, I know he has also uh, promised us that he uh, makes sure that our offices are well furnished. That too uh, is going to help us with, with, with admin uh, work. And uh, the Tassel institutions that are of late that have been built, like Basse, uh, a chemical analysis of, of Basse, is, 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 is very good. It's in the right direction. It's going to help uh, our teachers. Uh, it's going to help schools have enough teachers because we know this side of the country, uh, the provinces, is always difficult. Uh, if you post teachers here, they always negotiate to go elsewhere. If not government, they will even uh, prefer to reside and go to private. But having uh, college, uh, and a government college here in, in, in Basse would help train teachers here and they, they are posted to school. So that, that's going to be history for, for the Gambia. That's going to be history for URL. So that our own children go to uh, college here from, from ECD, up to, up to college, graduate, and then work in the region. Uh, you work, you are staying at home, you help your parents, and then support them. That's a good thing to do. And that's all what we, all of us are yearning for. In those days, when some of us started teaching, in 1980, I started teaching in Bakao, away from my family in Janyambure. When communication was very poor by, by then, you see. So now, if you have something on your desk, doorstep, Definitely, that's, uh, that's a good thing uh, to do. And then I know parents will appreciate that very much. In fact, 
for us here, it's, it's well appreciated. Uh, you know this when uh, the day we are going to officially open this school, uh, you have our community elders we talk, and then they will show their appreciation. In fact, they have been showing that since the uh, buildings were handed over for, for classes to begin uh, last year, uh, when our sponsors came, they came to hand over the school, uh, pending the official opening by His Excellency. Uh, because he said he is going to officially open this because this is where he went to, and then he wanted to show the whole world uh, at least what, where he came from, what he definitely intends, and what he's going to do for, for us. And definitely, we are very proud of him. Well, I think it is, this is not politics. I'm not politicking. But then, give the devil its due. Uh, very few people would do that where you come from. We have seen the former uh, regime, where our former president, where he comes from, can lie. You go to that school, it's, it's not as Kubakunda. I would have thought when I visited Kanila and I saw the school, I would have thought that was going to be his priority. But it was, it was never was. Uh, for him, it's a different thing. And, People should appreciate him for that and many other things that he intends to do uh, for the region and, 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 and for the Gambia. We should put hands together. Uh, the way the generation is going, I think we should team up and then help so that our future generation uh, would also benefit a lot. Because if not, uh, things would, would, would go wrong and we, we would not know where it actually started. You see, some of us have eight now, uh, we are almost on, on the way of exit from, from the system. Uh, but then what we have seen uh, for, for four decades now uh, is definitely is for us to uh, team up, put our hands together and, and help develop this nation by infrastructure, that way, by also changing attitudes towards uh, development because no one is coming to do it for us. It's going to be our own. When philanthropists come, they add to what already we have. They complement our efforts. So, in any way that we, we, we can help make this government move forward, we should also all give a helping hand. That's what I, I believe. The school feeding program attracts enrollment and retention. All right. Uh, as you can see, over the years, because I've been here for 10 years, over the years, when I took over the school, where the enrollment was 910 to now 2,758 students. That's a big gap. When the time, the days, the months cooking is on, the attendance grows. But when we stop coping, even for, for two or three days, you see the attendance goes down. So that shows you that it's important for it to be ongoing in schools because it attracts enrollment and improved attendance. It also relieves the parents uh, from spending so much uh, on, uh, on their families in terms of uh, putting food on the table. Because if they, if they eat here at school, they will eat very little at home, so that will reduce the, the ration at home and then help the, 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 the family to save uh, money for other things. The school feeding program is funded uh, by WFP and government because we have this homegrown school feeding program now. Where um, we have this cash transfer and then uh, we buy our local produce from our markets, store it and then cook. So you can see if a farmer is growing maize or, or, or cooks for example, you grow it and then sell it to schools rather than sell it to middlemen.
for you to be carried across the border to into Senegal. But then you, you can sell it to schools. And that that is also there. Um, and recently, as I said, the WFP and government are partnering to uh, sponsor this school feeding program. Uh, initially, we have we start, all started with catering and cash transfer as a pilot program, which culminated into now cash transfer. Uh, all graduated from the cash transfer, now all schools uh, are doing the same thing now. So that's how it's uh, government putting money and then WSO, WFP also put in some money. Uh, last time, uh, what I information I, I got from uh, a ministry, I think government put up to 90 million dollars to support the, the program. I would definitely want to thank my, my minister, uh, Mrs. Madam Kuleran Kohl, uh, my regional director, uh, my chairman, Mr. Keba Bande, uh, who uh, is always at school since the commencement of the, of the project up to this stage. He's always by my side. Every day he comes here to check the workers. So that shows his level of uh, commitment and interest in school affairs. Uh, and also, not forgetting my, my, my staff, uh, my school staff who stood by me. And, and this, because a lot of materials came to this school during construction time. So if we are all not concerned and we don't care, uh, many of them can, can go astray because uh, there, are, there are no fence. Uh, Thieves can um, steal them, and but then we all put our hands together and to see that the materials belong to this school, and therefore we must jealously guard them. So I'm also thanking them for their cooperation, as well as uh, uh, my co-head teacher uh, Kadi Boya, who just came recently. He told he found uh, the work. Uh, complete, but then uh, she's also part of us. Uh, she's the principal of the upper and senior secondary school. Uh, she has also been a good neighbor. Uh, we have been working together. I started the school when she came, I handed over to her, and we have been having that cordial working relationship since then. And also the community, uh, the DCCFO, I uh, have a also has been helped uh, giving us the moral support uh, because uh, the force uh, compound uh, he gave to Jiko to, to house his workers. Uh, we, are, we are grateful to that uh, and has also been giving moral support to the school. Uh, definitely, I'm sort of bored, but I'm, I'm very much grateful for everybody who, one way or the other, has been instrumental in seeing this school uh, grow from center to center.